The party got weird because Danielle started to slap her own ass. Coming up on the Real Housewives of New Jersey after show. Margaret's friend caught you in the back seat of a car kissing a guy. They did their dirty work, you dumbass. I think Danielle's got a dark side. I never thought in a million years she would come at Teresa. You called my husband to your house to tell him that I was in a car with a guy? Wow. I told them to not repeat it. How can I go and celebrate someone else's marriage when they are the people that is, are constantly trying to destroy mine? The Real Housewives of New Jersey after show starts right now. So the island party got a little weird. The party got weird because Danielle started to slap her own ass. I don't, what's happening? Why? I don't, I don't know. You're she asking like, the wrong Kiss person. My I don't know what bitch. just happened between you and Danielle. I'm in the middle of the movie. Laura has been saying that Margaret's friend caught you in the back seat of a car kissing a guy. We didn't even get to talk that long. She was trying to explain things to me. I already heard this story. And do you want to know how? Heard it through my husband? Because his sister called him over to his house secretly without me to tell him this story behind my back. And I'm like, huh? What? Huh? Huh? I see them talking alone on the couch. And, then and I see do? Melissa getting irritated. Okay. So I walk over there. I was like, oh, God, you know, I'm sure they're talking about me. And then it starts clicking in my head. Okay. Something must have happened. And Margaret comes at me a thousand miles per hour, ready to attack. I'll take her Amazon dress and wrap it around her first. Here we go. And she just went in for the kill. Your budget, Betty. Don't you budget, Betty. I was ready for it. You ain't gonna talk to me anymore the way you've been talking. Oh, you can kiss my f***ing big fat f***ing planet. And I'm f***ing done. Got your number. What's I happening? can't even decipher what is going on at, at the party. Why don't you I don't know why everyone's screaming. Listen to me. Listen to me, nasty person. Oh, yeah, it's no deal. There's no s about everybody in this room. I don't know what's going down here. It's just mass chaos. Chaos. Everyone's mad. Chaos. You run and are chasing Teresa. You call my husband. Disgusting. Disgusting. And she runs for the hills from me. She's very funny with me when yeah. I confront her. She flips it, like, throws things, anything but have the conversation with Melissa. She's coming at me, and I'm like, I know what you're trying to do. You want attention, not giving it to you, and get your hand off of me. And I just walked away, and that was it. Teresa should be screaming at Jennifer and Danielle and saying, look what you f***ing did, shut up. What does that prove to you there? That just proves to me she knew about it. And Louis comes walking by, and I was like, oh, you're proud of yourself, huh? You're calling my husband over to your house to tell him I'm the cheater. All the rumors that I've heard about you that I never said, and you're making shit up about me. I think something like that. He got red, like he was going to attack me. He literally physically came at me, and, like, Nate had to, like, hold him back. Why are you looking like that? Well, your eyes are like, what's the matter? Oh, Why there's nothing like wrong with you, Dark. I'm the right. one getting Listen, all the shit. No, Thank no, you very no, much. No, no, no. You're welcome. No. All the men it said he were he was off. Really he was weird. either on something or he was like not in his right mind. He was red as a red as a tomato. He was like weird that day. Um, yeah, winning, she's winning. winning. But, I mean, he was definitely not in his right mind. There was something so like shaky and like high energy. His like, hands were like this. He yeah. was chain smoking. He was holding his cigarette behind his back. He was coming out. He was aggressive. He was red. I was like, what is, what is this? Weird. Are I don't we in the get Twilight Zone? No. I don't give a Danielle, why did you decide to tell Melissa about the rumor? Like, I was thinking Melissa was going to be like, girl, it's not true. Right. Thank you for telling right. me. Right. Right. But it ain't true. Laura has been saying that Margaret's friend caught you in the back seat of a car kissing a guy. I never thought in a million years she would come at Teresa. You're a loser. You're trying to take Excuse black me? Black yes, black you black called black my black husband black to black your black house black to tell him that I was in a car with a guy? Wow. Wow. In my brain, 
There was no way that the scenario that actually happened was going to happen. Back the f up. Bo Dino no s about everybody in this room. Get my f***ing big fat f***ing planet. I have to bring it up to her. I'm a girl's girl. I got to tell her what I hear. Melissa could throw that in my face and say, well, then how come you didn't call me off camera and tell me? Right. Because she right. will. You can call my phone. You can ask me to go to lunch. You wait till we're all together at a beautiful party to sit me on the couch to tell me that someone's calling me a cheater. Mm -hmm. I think Danielle's got a dark side. You're destroying a family. Right. This so is I... not like light <laughs> You're destroying a family. Like, she, the way she just can do it so lightly shows a real lack of conscience. This was the only thing I did this whole year with being in this new group of friends that was somewhat of like... Stir in the pot? Yeah. I think Danielle's stupid and was a stupid pawn. I think she's not the sharpest tool in the shed. I mean, if Danielle's not smart enough to see that these girls placed it right in their lap. Laura was telling me Margaret told her some rumor that somebody that works with both of them. He opened the back seat of a car and he saw Melissa in the back seat with a guy. Yeah, Teresa and Jennifer had no idea that she was going to come and pull me aside and tell me. I mean, come on. Teresa knew. Jennifer knew. Margaret's ex-best friend. They had some sort of falling out, and this Laura was trying to get in touch with me and Teresa to just tell us stuff. To lay dirt on her ex-best friend? They handed it to, to Danielle. She was making out with somebody else? She was making out with another guy. They had her, their little minion do their dirty work made her look bad when I feel like she probably really didn't even want to do that, if mm -hmm. I'm being honest. Like, I don't think she wanted to do it. I don't know. Listen, everybody's their own individual person. Danielle said it was weighing on her. I mean, they did ha they did hang out. They, you know, they had a, con I don't know if they had a connection or whatever. I can't control people. I can't no. tell people what to do. Mm -hmm. I told them to not repeat it. I, I told both of them. So That's what the what, truth, what they do after that is on them. I don't ever like to do sticky mm -hmm. shit. They tell me something, I tell, uh, there's no behind things. It's really careless and malicious and you have a choice to either say, I don't want to do that and I don't want to be a part of it, or okay, I'll be the messenger of something that could really destroy somebody's life so that I get an extra five minutes. And I have to have this conversation with my husband. I'm like, did I everything up for everybody and he's like nowhere in this equation is Teresa involved in this is Jen involved in this it came from Margaret mm -hmm. right so in my it all mind, comes from Margaret it was calculated I laughed at her I was like oh you good you got your little moment honey you're you you did their dirty work you dumbass